Hey guys, Sean from westcoastsafaris.com. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, just checking in, haven't, uh, have, have been a little quiet lately. Uh, have had a nasty cold the last week, which has pretty much put me down for the count. Um, I don't know why it is, but it seems like colds hit me a lot harder here in Japan than they did in the US. Um, either I'm getting older, or maybe it's just my imagination, um, or maybe it's, uh, you know, there's some medical reason like, uh, my immune system uh, adjusted to all those viruses in the US and, and not the ones in Japan. But either way, when I, when I get a cold in Japan, it, it hits, seem, feels like it hits me a lot harder than it did when I was living in the US. And uh, you know, something that makes it even more difficult is the medications here. Um, that's my kind of tip for the day is if you're planning on visiting Japan, whether it's for two days or two weeks, or two months or living here for two years, I would recommend uh, packing in your suitcase um, some of your over-the-counter medications that you can get um, in your home country. Uh, and maybe you're obviously gonna wanna check the legality of those, um, you know, before importing them into Japan, um, but ibuprofen, Excedrin, uh, which is basically just, um, you know, I think that's ibuprofen and caffeine, but, um, Aspirin, full strength aspirin is a good one. Some kind of a decongestion is probably good. Uh, I know Dayquil is kind of the, the standard um, over the counter uh, cold medicine in the US. All good things to have because the active ingredient in the medications here, over the counter medications, are something like one third to one tenth the active ingredient. And uh, that's just not going to cut it uh, in most cases, at least not enough to make a, a big dent in in uh, making you feel better. You don't want to ruin your vacation if you catch a cold or come down with a you know a nasty headache or something like that um, and if you're gonna be here a while you know you can definitely uh, save yourself you know a little bit of uh, suffering by packing some of those uh, medicines that you're familiar with from back home. So that's my tip for the day um, and again if you don't even if you don't read Japanese you might not even know what the the active ingredients are in some of those medications. So uh, I've got some upcoming blog posts, videos as well, so check back often and take care. Have a great day.